Now look at me, Pastor. The devil told you to shut down your church. The devil told you you were going to get arrested. The devil told you you weren't going to see souls saved. The devil told you you were going to shut down your church. And you know what the Holy Ghost said? Ooh! Everybody shout! to get the state of California back for Christ. What happened, and I want to explain, as you can see, looking all around you, that we were overwhelmed with people responding, wanting to be here today. And if we had set up tables, we would have had them, they would have gone all the way down to Modesto. So we decided to set the tables up outside, have the message first, and then eat second, and then it's not over then. And I want you here for the long term. And I want to tell you the truth. Your people are hurting. You need to stop worrying about what Gavin Newsom thinks. You need to stop worrying about what woke pastors think and start thinking about the sheep that God put in your care. Because listen, it's their little girl that's gonna be in the bathroom when the man walks in. It's their little girl that's going to be beat in sports by somebody that doesn't know what gender they are. And it's time for us to quit being the stupid people of California and start being the army of God in California. And I want you to understand something if you look at me. Your heart has been broken. Totally broken. There are times where the devil said, just give up, throw, throw in the towel, don't try anymore. Just quit. You never do it. You never did. You never would quit. <laughs> Part of this has been an assault in your circumstances. Part of this is physical. And someone has tried to kill you. Well, I'm not even just talking about the devil. An actual physical person has tried to murder you. You escaped with your life. Am I right? Now I'm telling you that you were in a situation where someone stalked you and tried to kill you. Raise your hand. Said, wave it at the people. Say, what this man of God just told you is a true story. It's true. And what happened is it ravaged your nervous system. <laughs> Robbed you of sleep, affected your teeth, there's pain in your body. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to hold you accountable for what you're watching right now. For literally, this young woman is going to be resurrected. And I'm going to finish. Her bones are going to change. Her left eye is going to be restored. Are you praying for all of that, son? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Pray right now because it's happening. The power is falling on everybody right now. I mean, you know, we've been waiting for this for years, ladies and gentlemen. That it come into alignment right now. The Holy Spirit is falling in the antique account. It's leading to an awakening, a spiritual explosion. The church is going to march more on parts of the floor. It's, it's poetic irony. I want you to put your hand on his shoulder. Sir, I want you to look at me. It's a very complicated case. The doctors have said a lot of things about me. They've spoken this, spoken that, spoken the other. It took a lot of years before they even agreed on what was going on inside of me. But Christ was never confused, was he? Never. 
and you're being healed right now. You're being healed in the name of Jesus. I'm going to tell you something. You're not going to die. You're not going to, this is not going to be the way you die. You've got a lot left to do. You've got a lot left to see. And so this malignant condition is being removed from your body right now. There's a growth. And God is burning it out of your body right now. I thank you, Lord, for the healing virtue of this man.